Uh, Canelo Alvarez fighting for the very first time here at the Madison Square Garden Arena. And we will now start the press conference. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for being here. Um, the final press conference for Canelo versus Rocky. And I have been all over New York. Uh, New York City this week, and everywhere I go, there's a huge, huge buzz. And I want to start by saying, ladies and gentlemen, pay-per-view is dead. I'm actually happy to announce that pay-per-view is dead. On Saturday night, December 15th, Canelo Alvarez will experience a lot of firsts. It will be his first fight in the mecca of boxing at Madison Square Garden. It will be the first fight of his historic contract with the Zone, and it will be his first time traveling up to the 168 pounds with the pound weight class as he looks to make history by becoming one of a very small list of Mexican fighters to become a three division world champion. And then there's Rocky who has perhaps the most recognized first name in all of boxing. Rocky Fielding will look to take advantage of the opportunity of a lifetime by facing the biggest star of boxing and defending his WBA middleweight title at the same time. We absolutely have a stacked card full of competitive battles that I will talk about in a minute. There's a couple of tickets left, uh, roughly less than 500 tickets are left. So if you want to purchase um, at Madison Square Garden box office, you can purchase at all Ticketmaster outlets. Uh, you can go to goldenboytickets.com or msgtickets.com. And if you can't make it to the garden, in what should be a historical night. You can always download the app, The Zone. And we are extremely proud to have been able to, to strike a deal with such visionaries, um, not only in the sport of boxing, but in sports in general. For me, it's a bittersweet moment to talk about pay-per-view being bad because my career was built on pay-per-view, but this digital platform is thinking about the fans, is thinking about the consumers. So this fight, Canelo versus Rocky, you will, you will be able to download The Zone for free, for one month, and watch this historical night where Canelo Alvarez will be able to showcase his talents and fight against a bigger guy, a heavier guy, a stronger guy, a champion who fights at 168 pounds. So if you ask me, I think that's a great deal. Um, at this moment, I would like to call up to the podium a man who has some wonderful history here at the Garden. I remember watching him against Felix Trinidad um, back in 2001. Watching Felix Trinidad and Bernard Hopkins was a masterpiece. And he is a future Hall of Famer. He is my friend and partner at Golden Boy Promotions. That is the great Bernard Hopkins. I'm gonna be real short. I'd like to say to everybody to my left, first of all, thanks Eddie Hearns, everybody that's involved. And also, um, game changer, Oscar said it, the zone. Um, the history of Madison Square Garden, I don't have to board anybody with it. They know what it is. The fighters, um, if they don't know, they're going to be told earlier when they do interviews and things. But what I'll say to everyone to my left and to my right, uh, take this opportunity. 
even Canelo and Rocky, to put your DNA in the history of the great legendary Madison Square Garden. Enjoy the fight. The zone is here. If you subscribe now, you get it free Saturday. So pass it on to your friends and anybody else, but enjoy the fight and get ready for 2019. I'm so excited. Thank you. Hello, how is everyone doing? I'm going to keep it short. I want to thank God, first and foremost. I want to thank Oscar De La Hoya, Robert Diaz, Eric Gomez, everyone else at the Golden Boy office. And um, I just feel blessed to be on the stage. Uh, I'm going to kick it off for Golden Boy. So obviously, I want to steal the show. This is a, a stage of high magnitude. And um, you know, I want, I want to kick it off with a bang and uh, let you know what's ahead for the main event. I know Canelo will do his thing. Thank you. Hey, everybody. I want to thank uh, God first. Then I want to thank Golden Boy Promotions, The Zone, and also want to thank trainer Eddie, my dad, for a strong camp. We had two months, nonstop work, really focused. And uh, now I'm just ready to put on my best performance at Madison Square Garden. What better place than Madison Square Garden? It's iconic, held some of the biggest fights in history. So I'm just ready to prove and uh, show everybody what I've been improving on and uh, what, what I'm going to bring for, uh, for time to come. So uh, thank you, everybody. and. Uh, I look forward to fighting Saturday. See everyone. Um, thank you so much, everyone. I'm really, really excited to be fighting in, in the iconic Madison Square Garden where so many great fights have taken place and so many legends have fought here. Um, I'm here to bring my best, very, my very, very best on Saturday evening for all five fans. I'm, I'm sure my opponent, Eva Wallstrom, is going to do the same. I know Eva from, from the amateur days, we shared the ring on uh, many occasions in, in the amateurs. and. I know she's a great competitor, she's a fantastic fighter, and we're both here to win on Saturday evening, so um, you know, somebody though has got to go, as, as they say, so I, I can't wait for it. it's going to be an exciting fight. And um, thank you so much to Matchroom and to the Zone and, and also to, to Golden Boy for this opportunity. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much. How y'all doing? I ain't got too much to say nowadays. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming out today. I want to thank the man above first. Um, big shout out to Eddie Hearns and Lou DiBella, Matchroom Boxing. Um, thanks to Golden Boy for putting me on this card. I'm ready for Saturday, and it's another opportunity for me to show out and show that I'm one of the best in the world. Um, thanks for coming out. Thank you. Not close enough. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> first and foremost, I want to thank uh, my dad, uh, everybody at RGBA, uh, everybody at Golden Boy Promotions. Um, I'm very happy to be fighting here in Madison Square Garden. For some reason, I thought it was going to be a square. It's not a square, so, you know, it's whatever. It's my first time in New York. I'm very excited about that. Um, I mean, other than that, I'm just happy to be here, so thank you for coming out. Hello, everyone. Uh, just want to say thanks to everybody for coming out. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to Robert Diaz, a great matchmaker for matching, making this fight. Uh, all Golden Boy, everybody that was involved. Um, it's a great opportunity, and I'm, I feel blessed and honored to fight here at the Madison Square Garden. Uh, Saddam Ali is a great fighter. As you all know, I put on a great show as well. I think both of us together uh, will leave a memorable night. So it'll be a night to remember. See you guys Saturday, and uh, enjoy the fights. How's it going, everybody? Um, I'm excited. Uh, I'm ready. You know, this is a big fight. Every fight's a big fight. And um, Mauricio Herrera comes to fight, we all know this, so it's going to be a great one. Uh, I would like to thank Golden Boy, I'd like to thank uh, The Zone, and uh, Master Square Garden. There's nothing like fighting at home, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't get to happen every time, but when it does, I'm excited, I'm ready. Um, I want to thank God, and I'm just ready for what's next. Thank, you, thank everybody for coming, tune in, it's going to be great. Thank you. Good afternoon. First of all, I'd like to thank our Golden Boys for this opportunity. I'd like to thank The Zone, who is now the catalyst of sports television today. I'd also like to thank, ultimately, the Almighty God, you know, who has been here for me before time, during time, and at the end time, he'll still be here. 
Yes, it's going to be an exciting night. What is wrong with you guys, man? Come on, y'all ain't had your breakfast or something? I don't know. I mean, I noticed the boxes them in the back here. Y'all probably dehydrated. That's why y'all ain't talking. That's your business. I don't. Very good. Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm energized. You know, uh, respect to uh, Lemieux. You know, I have a lot of respect for him, a lot of respect, especially for his power to do it. Can knock out. Shoot, he probably can knock a horse out. Hey. Yeah. I want to feel that come Saturday night. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, I can, uh, hey, you guys can expect an awesome fight. You know, Toriano, yeah, like Mr. De La Hoya said, you know, I come to bring it, hey. Oh, I'm definitely coming to bring it. You know, I have not slept. Y'all only give me 20 seconds. Y'all know that anyway, right, right? But anyway, come Saturday night, you're going to see a different Toriano, a better Toriano, more intelligent fighter yet. I've been training with my coach, Andre Rosier, the only coach who have given me my only loss. Of course, given me my only loss, he definitely knows how to beat me and he definitely knows how to make me better. And indeed, I am better. Comes out of the light, David Lemieux, bring you again, because it's going to be an exciting one. God bless y'all. Hello. <laughs> Extremely happy to be back at the Madison Square Garden. I was here three years ago. Uh, you know, in a unification fight against Golovkin. Uh, it didn't turn out uh, the way I wanted it to, but over the years I've learned a lot and matured a lot in the, in the gym, in the ring, in life. Uh, I believe I'm in my peak. Uh, the greatest years are yet to come for me. And on Saturday night, it's going to be a step towards that. So uh, I, promise, I promise everybody a great fight, an extremely, you know, uh, Tiriano Johnson is a great fighter. We trained extremely hard for him. So we don't have any surprise in the, in the ring. So whatever, whatever uh, he brings forward, I'll take care of it in a spectacular fashion. I, I promise, I promise y'all a spectacular fight, spectacular moments. We'll see how it lasts. It feels great to be back at the Madison Square Garden. Thanks to the Garden. Uh, thank you to Golden Boy uh, and thanks to I Have the Tiger Management. Um, Canelo Alvarez, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, great, it's great to be in the mix and uh, a lot of great things going to happen. But uh, first, to Rihanna Johnson, you know, Saturday night, I, I promise a spectacular victory. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. It's a, it's a pleasure to work with you guys at Golden Boy. And I'm very excited about the partnership ahead. Not only are you great promoters, but you're also great dressers. I mean, I love that scarf you've got on. Bernard, that hat is on another level. I borrowed, my, I borrowed your polo neck this morning. I saw you with this one on yesterday. And I'd like to also thank Eric Gomez. Eric, where are you? Down there, thank you for everything. And particularly my friend Robert Diaz, who uh, we've worked with for a number of years now. And I'm excited to be linking up and using each other's shows to make sure that we can keep our fighters as active as possible. It's extremely important. You see so many great fighters in America who are fighting once a year, twice a year tops. It's not good for their profile. It's not good for their career. It's not good for their development. And on this show, we're lucky enough to have two of our special talents, one particularly in Katie Taylor, six-time European champion, five-time world amateur champion, Olympic champion, and also now the unified lightweight champion of the world. She has huge support in Ireland and in America. And of course, Tevin Farmer, in my opinion, the number 130 pounder in world boxing. Lighting up the place. If you read his story, it's incredible. Thrown in the deep end early on in his career, come through, now the most active world champion in boxing. He boxed in Boston in October. He's boxing this Saturday at Madison Square Gardens. And if he wins, we'll be taking him home to Philly in March as well. This is a fantastic card. And normally when you put a superstar of boxing on like Canelo, Sometimes I've seen some of these American promoters have a little bit of a thin card. Not on Saturday. A couple of world championship fights, a great co-main event as well with Turiano Johnson against David Lemieux. Ryan Garcia, I'm a big fan. Brilliant, brilliant night of boxing. In here, Madison Square Gardens, the mecca of boxing. I want to thank Joel Fisher and the team, Sal as well at MSG, to think of the great fights that have been staged here in the past. Right in front of you there, Lamotta, Sugar Ray Robinson. Ali Frazier, one and two. So many great nights of boxing. It's an absolute honor to even be involved in a card here. Of course, we want to thank DAZN. You know, recently, we announced our 16 
fight deal in the US with them. We've now expanded to Italy and Germany with them as well. This is a game changer for world boxing. Like Oscar said, normally US fight fans would need to put their hands in their pockets for $80, $100 this weekend. That's changing. It's free to watch this Saturday for Canelo against Rocky Field. And I applaud Golden Boy for taking that move, believing in the zone like we did as well. Not only is it a great deal for fans in terms of price, but the production is top draw. You've got Akin Barak, you've got Kay Adams over there, you've got Sergio Mora, you've got Sugar Ray Robinson, you've got Michael Buffer exclusive as well to DAZN. This really is a revolution of boxing. And already since its launch in September, we've produced over 10 world championship fights, launching the service with, as Oscar said, the best heavyweight in world boxing, Anthony Joshua. And now you have the other biggest star in world boxing, Canelo. In my opinion, the two standout stars in world boxing in Anthony Joshua and Canelo Alvarez already part of the DAZN banner. It's very exciting times. On to the main event. This is a great, great story. I remember Eric Gomez phoning me up saying, would Rocky Fielding like to fight Canelo Alvarez? After I dropped the phone, I picked it back up and I phoned Rocky Fielding. Not once did he ask about the money, not asked did he, once did he ask about the date. It was a yes, because this is what it's all about. This is everything to Rocky Fielding. This is the opportunity of a lifetime to come here to box in Madison Square Gardens and to defend his world title against Canelo Alvarez. One thing I promise you from Rocky Fielding is plenty of ability, plenty of heart, and a great fighting spirit and the will to win. And I believe he's going to give Canelo Alvarez absolutely everything he has and everything he can handle right here on Saturday night. So thank you to everyone. And right now, I'd like to introduce the trainer for Rocky Fielding, a uh, guy who has taken him from strength to strength with the mastermind behind Rocky Fielding's great victory in Germany to win his world title. Ladies and gentlemen, Jamie Moore. Thanks, Ed. Thanks, everyone, for having us. It's um, an honour to be involved in such a historical uh, event at an iconic venue like Madison Square Garden. Um, I think boxing's all about timing, and Rocky Fielding made sure he was ready when he got the phone call for the world title at five weeks' notice. Um, he's a professional, he was fit, he was ready to take the opportunity, and it came at the right time for him. Um, he stayed busy, he stayed in the gym, even though we didn't have a date. And when we got the phone call for the, for the Canelo fight, he, he, he bit our hand off. He took it without hesitation, and there's weight divisions for a reason. And, uh, and, and, you know, I applaud Canelo. I, I, I admire his, his, um, his tenacity and his, his will to, to, for greatness, to, to, to go to achieve greatness. But, you know, as I say, time, it's all about timing. And um, I just think that this is the right time for Rocky Field. And he's in, he's in a great place mentally and physically. And, um, and, and he's looking forward to, to shocking the world and putting in a big upset. Thank you. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, right now, um, he may appear in the promotion to this fight because of, obviously, the, the success and the size of Canelo Alvarez as the challenger. But one thing is for sure, he is the champion going into this fight, and he will de defend his belt with honour and pride on Saturday night. I'd like to call up to say a few words the reigning WBA super middleweight champion of the world from Liverpool, Rocky Fielding. Thank you all. Um, thank you, Golden Boy Canelo, um, for the opportunity. And as they said, um, you know I'm the world champion here. I've come over here as a world champion. It's it's great to be here. You know, with, as you're saying, the history behind it is unbelievable. Um, I was here three years ago. I was sitting right up the top there, watching the next game, just dreaming one day to fight here. Um, three years down the line, I've put so much work in. I've had a lot of setbacks, but I've, I've kept positive. And here I am. My, my name's all around the arena. From, from sitting up the top to here is, is unbelievable. And I'm looking forward to it. Um, I went to Germany. No one gave me a chance in Germany. Um, and I took it with both hands. I went over there and done a good job. Yeah, and the same year, no one's going to give me a chance here, but I prepared well. I believe in myself. I've come here as a champion. Um, that's what champions do, they win. 
and defend it wherever they, wherever they need to defend it. And, and this is a great opportunity, and I'm really happy to be here, and I'm, I am grateful. So thank you for the support, and see you Saturday. Muchas gracias. Primero que nada, quiero agradecerles a todos por estar aquí. Muchas thank gracias you very por su much. apoyo. Before anything, I want to say thank you for being here and thank you for your support. Eh, estoy muy contento de estar aquí en el Madison Square Garden. I'm very happy to be here at Madison Square Garden. Es un, es un sueño más realizado en, en mi carrera. It's just yet yeah, another story, another dream realized in my career. Y en esta nueva etapa con con Dizón también eh, estoy muy contento, muy motivado. And this new phase in my career with the zone, I'm very happy and I'm motivated. Quizás muchos no le dan el crédito que, que se merece Rocky Fielding, pero por algo es campeón mundial. Perhaps many don't give the credit to Rocky Fielding that he deserves, but for a reason he's a world champion. Yo sé lo que es, sé el riesgo que tengo enfrente, me preparé muy muy fuerte como siempre. I know who he is. I trained very hard. I know the challenge I have in front of me. Sé que va a ser una pelea fuerte el sábado, pero me gustan los retos. Estamos listos para hacer historia. I know that I have a tough fight, but I like the challenges, and I know we're going to make history. I'm ready for that. Y espero que disfruten de una gran, de una gran noche el sábado. Muchas gracias a todos. I hope that you all enjoy a great night this Saturday. Thank you to all of you. Thank you. 